short prayer. So who wants to lead the prayer? Yes, Jasmine. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before you take your seat, please pick up the pieces of papers under your chair. Pick up the pieces of papers before you take your seat. So before we formally start our discussion, let's have a short game. So this game is called Jumble Solver. So what is Jumble Solver? Here are the instructions. Our first instruction is the teacher will group the class into five. So first group, second group, third group. Fourth group and fifth group. So I'll give you 30 seconds to form a circle. Keep quiet. Just form a circle. So for our second instruction, the teacher will distribute the envelopes with 11 letters, vanilla paper, and brown pen inside to each group. So here are your envelopes. Then, third instruction is the 
covered court of Ernesto Rondon High School. So what are the what are your tasks? Number one, we have list all the possible dance positions or arrangements of the three students at the stage. And your second task is in how many ways can they be arranged at the stage? So let's have first the task number one. So for your task number one again, list all the possible dance positions or arrangements of three students at the stage. So what are the possible arrangements that you can make out of the three students? Any idea? Yes, Kathy? Very good. So we can have Daniela, Victoria, and Charlie. So Daniela will occupy the first position or this area. Then Victoria will occupy the second position. Then Charlie on the third position. Very good. Next, another arrangement. Yes, Clea. Very good. So we can have also Daniela, Chari, and Victoria. So Daniela will occupy the first position, then Chari on the second position, then Victoria on the third position. So as you can see, Victoria and Chari just change their position. Another arrangement. Yes, Gabriel? Very good. We can have also Victoria, Daniela, and Chari. So as you can see, Victoria now will occupy the first position. So last time we have Daniela and also Daniela. Now we have Victoria, Daniela, and Chari. Another arrangement. Yes, Manuel? Very good. So we can have Victoria, Charlie, and Daniela. So as you can see, uh, Victoria still occupy the first position. But Daniela and Charlie change their position or switch their position. Another example. Yes, I get very good. So we can have also Charlie, Victoria, and Daniela. So last time, it was Daniela who occupied the first position. And on the second arrangement, it was also Daniela. But on third and fourth arrangement, Victoria occupied the first position. But now, Chari will occupy the first position. So it can be Chari, Victoria, and Daniela. So what is another arrangement? Yes, Michelle? Very good. So last arrangement can be Chari, Daniela, and Victoria. So as you can see, Victoria and Daniela just change their position or they switch. So here are the arrangements for the three students. So we can have Daniela, Victoria, Chari. Daniela, Chari, Victoria. Victoria, Daniela, Chari. Victoria, Chari, Daniela. And we have Chari, Victoria, Daniela. The last one is we have Chari, Daniela, Victoria. So let's have our task number two. Our task number two is, in how many ways can they be arranged at the stage? So let's count how many arrangements we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All in all, we have six possible ways they can be arranged at the stage. So how do we call the process uh, we did? So, this process is called systematic listing. So, let's try to solve same problem using different process. So, this process is called tree diagram. So, so you can use also tree diagram. So, what is tree diagram? 
It is a simple way of illustrating events. So let's start. We have Daniela. After Daniela, on the first position, we have Victoria and Charlie. We can also have Daniela, Charlie, and Victoria. So, let's see. so Victoria and Charlie just switched position. So in three diagrams, as you can see, we use arrow to show order or to uh, illustrate order. So next is what if Victoria will be on the first position or will occupy the first position? So it can be Victoria, Daniela, and Charlie. We also have Victoria, Charlie, and Daniela. So another arrangement is what if Charlie will occupy the first position? So we have Charlie, Victoria, and Daniela. We can also have Charlie, Daniela, and Victoria. So let's try to list the arrangement. So first arrangement, Daniela, Victoria, Charlie, number one. Then we can have Daniela, Charlie, Victoria, number two. And number three, we can have Victoria, Daniela, Charlie. This is your arrangement. Then number four, we can have Victoria, Charlie, and Daniela. So this is your fourth arrangement. Fifth arrangement can be Charlie, Victoria, Daniela. So fifth arrangement. Then number or sixth arrangement can be Charlie, Daniela, Victoria. So here. So all in all, we have six possible ways. Same answer with our systematic listing. So there are another method to use um, to solve same problem. So we have the fundamental counting principle. So what is fundamental counting principle? We have if there are n ways to do one thing, n ways to another, and o ways to another. Then there are m times n times o of doing those things. So we have now m times n times o. What is m? What is n? And what is o? Your m is your first position, n is your second position, and o is your third position. Now who will occupy the first, second, and third position? So now what is the value of your m? Your M is 3. Why 3? Because we have 3 choices for the first position. So we have Daniela, Victoria, and Chari. Therefore, Daniela, Victoria, or Chari can occupy the first position. So our M, the value of our M is 3. How about N? What is the value of our Yes, Michael. Very good. The value of our N is 2. Why 2? Because we have two choices for the, first, for the second position. Let's say for example, in first position, Daniela occupied the first position. So now, on your second position, we only have two choices which is Victoria and Charlie. So, Victoria and Charlie. Now, how about O? What is the value of our O? Yes, Leia. Very good. The value of our O is 1. Let's see, for example, Daniela, we chose Daniela for the first position. So, on the second position, we only have Victoria and Charlie as the choices or the options. Then, on the, for example, on the second position, you chose Victoria. Therefore, on the last position, only Charlie can occupy the area. So, then 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, there are six possible ways to arrange those three students at the stage. So as you can see, we have same answer with three with using three diagram and systematic listing. So our example a while ago is an example of permutation. So 
what is permutation? So here are the objectives for permutation. Illustrate the permutation of objects. List the possible ways a certain task or activity can be done. And third is appreciate permutations as vital part of one's life. So what is permutation? Permutation is an arrangement of all or part of a set of objects with proper regard to order. So what are the examples for permutation? Possible choices you have in creating your GCash password. So in creating your GCash password, you have 10 numbers or 10 options. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. So, in how many arrangements or in how many ways can you create a password using those 10 numbers? Another example is arranging five different books in a shelf. So, for example, if you have shelf in your house, then you have five books. In how many ways can you put those books on that shelf? Then, number three, another example is possible number of plate number can LTO create. So, same with number 1, which is Gcash pass password, you have 10 numbers or 10 options to create a plate number. So, 0, 2, 9. Now, what are the methods in determining permutation? So, what are the methods we used a while ago? Yes, Zeph? Very good. We use systematic listing. Another one. Yes, Michelle. Very good. We use the diagram. Another one. Very good. We can also use two-way table in other examples. And last one. Yes, Arvin. Very good. We use the fundamental principle of So let's have another example of permutation. Suppose your TLE teacher asks you to arrange the four vases with different flowers on the buffet table facing the guest. So we have sunflower, rose, orchid, and lily. List all possible arrangements out of those flowers. Determine the number of permutations made. So you are tasked to arrange uh, a set up a set up on a table so we have sunflower rose orchid and lily so in how many ways can you create or can you set up those flowers on a table so first is i'll give you an example sunflower rose orchid and lily so this is your first arrangement we have sunflower rose orchid and lily can you give another arrangement? Yes, can be. Very good. We can have sunflower, rose, lily, and orchid. So as you can see, orchid and lily switch position. Another example. Or another arrangement. Yes, Gabriel. Very good. So, we can have also sunflower, lily, orchid, and rose. So, as you can see, sunflower is in the first position, then followed now by lily. Another arrangement. Yes, Clea? Very good. So, we can have also sunflower, lily, rose, and orchid. So, as you can see, Orchid and rose switch position. So we have rose and orchid. Another arrangement. Yes, Ella. Very good. So we can have sunflower, orchid, lily, and rose. So as you can see, sunflower now is followed by orchid. Another example. Yes, Michelle. So we can have yes. So we can have sunflower, orchid, rose, and lily. So as you can see, lily and rose switch positions.
show. Now, who can make an arrangement if your first, if in the first position is Rose? Yes, Paul. Very good, Paul. Next. So we can have rose, orchid, lily, sunflower. Then rose, orchid, sunflower, lily. So as you can see, they change position. Then rose, lily, orchid, sunflower. So rose now is followed by lily. Then orchid, sunflower. So then third arrangement is rose, lily, sunflower orchid. So as you can see, orchid and sunflower change position. Then on the next arrangement, we have rose, sunflower, lily, and orchid. So as you can see, rose now is followed by sunflower. So rose, sunflower, lily, orchid. Then rose, sunflower, orchid, and lily. So as you can see, lily and orchid change position. What are the arrangements if orchid will be in the first position? Yes, Michelle. Very good, Michelle. So these are the arrangements for the orchid. So we have orchid, lily, rose, sunflower. We also have orchid, lily, sunflower, rose. So as you can see, orchid is followed by lily. Then we have rose sunflower here. Then on the second arrangement, we have sunflower rose. Then another arrangement is orchid followed by rose. Same with here, orchid followed by rose. But here, we have sunflower lily. And on our next arrangement, we have lily sunflower. Then on the next arrangement, on the other arrangement, we have orchid sunflower, orchid sunflower. So orchid is followed by sunflower. Then we have rose lily. Then here is lily rose. Now, who can make an arrangement if lily will be on the first position? Yes, Roxanne? Very good. So we can have these arrangements. We have lily, rose, orchid, sunflower. So as you can see, lily is followed by rose. So here also, lily is followed by rose. But here, we have orchid and sunflower. On the second arrangement, we have sunflower and is lily followed by orchid. Then lily followed by orchid. But here, we have lily, orchid, rose, and sunflower. But on our next arrangement, we have sunflower and rose. So, rose and sunflower change the position. Then on the last arrangement, we have lily followed by sunflower. But, in our first arrangement, we have lily, sunflower, orchid, and rose. And on the last arrangement, we have uh, rose and orchid. So as you can see, change position, see rose and orchid. So all in all, how many arrangements can we create on a table? Yes, RJ. Very good. So all in all, we have 24 arrangements for out of those four flowers. So let's try to check our answer using fundamental counting principle. So the given are four pieces with different flowers, which are sunflower, rose, orchid, and lily. So we have four positions, first, second, third, and fourth position. So on the first position, we have four choices. We have sunflower, rose, orchid, and lily. So we will have four. 
Now, what if you chose sunflower for the first position? So let's have here sunflower. So on the third, on the second position, on the second position, we will have now rose orchid and lily. Sunflower is not part of the option. So we will have times three. So what if on this position we chose rose? Therefore, rose will not be part of the option for the third position. So we will have two choices. So times two. Now, what if you chose orchid for this position? For example. Now, how many options do you have for the last position? Yes, my girl. Very good. Only one choice or one option left, which is Lily. Therefore, times one. So, four times three times two times one is equal to 24. So, our answer on systematic listing is correct. So, there are 24 possible ways to set up four flowers on a table. schedule. First 
batch of barangays are Barangay San Cristo, Project 6, Bahay Toro, Basra, Bagong Pag-asa, Bungad, and Veterans Village. In how many ways can they arrange the schedule for the seven barangays? So, our given are Santo Cristo, Project 6, Bahay Toro, Basra, Bagong Pag-asa, Bungad, and Veterans Village. Now, what method are we going to use? It's your choice. What is the easiest method for you? Okay, we can use fundamental counting principle. So, using fundamental counting principle, so, the Kesson City LGU have seven days to do the COVID vaccine. So, on the first day, how many choices do LGU have? Very good. On the first day, we have seven options or seven choices. We have Santo Cristo, Project 6, Project 6, Bahay Toro, Basra, Bagong Pangasa, Bungad, Veterans Village. So for example, the Quezon City and GU chose Barangay Bahay Toro on the first day. How many choices or options for the second day? Yes, RJ. Very good. So we have six choices for the second day. Now, Santo Cristo, Project 6, Basra, Bagong Pangasa, Bungad, and Veterans Village. Now, for example, the Quezon City LGU chose Barangay Veterans Village on the second day. How many choices do we have on the third day? Yes, RJ? Very good. We have five choices on the third day. So, the choices are Santo Cristo, Project 6, Basra, Bagong Pag-asa, and Bungal. Now, for example, the Quezon City LGU chose Barangay Santo Cristo on the third day. How many choices do we have on the fourth day? Yes, Michael? Very good. So, on the fourth day, we have four choices, which are Project 6, Basra, Bagong Pag-asa, and Bungan. For example, the Quezon City LGU uh, chose Barangay Basra on the fourth day. How many choices do we have on the third day? Very good. On the fifth day, we have three choices, which are Project 6, Bagong Pag-asa, and Bungan. So, for example, the Quezon City LGU chose Bagong Pag-asa on the fifth day. How many choices do we have on the sixth day? Yes, Elena? Very good. On the sixth day, we have two choices, which are Project 6 and Barangay Bungan. So, times two. Now, for example, the, the Quezon City LGU chose Barangay Project 6 on the sixth day. How many choices do we have on the last day or on the second day? Yes, Michael? Very good. On the second day or on the last day, we only have now one choice, which is the Barangay Woman. So, times one. Now, so to get the possible ways of schedule, let's multiply seven times six. Times 4, times 3, times 2, and times 1. So, they can arrange the schedule all in all in 5,040 possible ways. So, we're done with our examples on permutation. So, any questions so far? So, very good. It seems clear to everyone. You don't have questions. So, let's now try to sum up our lesson. So, what is permutation? What, what is the definition of permutation? Yes, Nicole? Very good. 
For mediation is an arrangement of all or part of a set of objects with proper regard to order. So what are the methods in determining permutations? Yes, Hannah? Very good. We have four methods in determining permutation. We have systematic list listing, tree diagram, we have the two-way table, and we have the fundamental principle of counting. So 
B, E, D. So, all in all, there are 16 possible ways the couple can give birth.